right in there with them. Yeah, rather than maybe on the lee side. Look at some of these sedge islands, and they could be anywhere. You know, yeah. On them. But I guess a little bit of wind like this can concentrate them on that on this side. So. Oh, there's another, just like you're talking about, just a nice little outflow right there. It's just like a buffet line for them. That's it. So what are you looking for when you're, you know, when you're searching for a good bank? What's, you know, what quality? What I look for is a lot of, what I call like half dugout pockets. Okay. You know, I'm looking for a lot of pockets and a lot of little feeder type creeks. You know, or little where there's spots where there's moving water and a lot of points. You know, for every pocket you find, you're going to find two points, right? Like exactly. what we have coming up. And those have a tendency to be the spot where you get the bite. There we go. There Got we go. It. There we go. Right where you'd expect, right off that point there. Yep. Good job, Good job Jimmy. Good job. Good job, yeah, it took a little bit. We just needed the tide to get right and. Real healthy little fish. Definitely wanted it. He took that way down there. Like Tom said, when they're hanging in the shallow water like this, they're only here for one reason, and that's the feed. So this is the first one we just got on the board. We're gonna put him back and keep casting. Hopefully, uh, it's a sign of good things to come. Good job, Jimmy. Oh, no, man, thank you. He was sitting right on that point. Yep. I, so I cast a little bit into the uh, cove there, and then it, the second that thing crossed the point, yeah. he smoked it. It's one of the coolest things about stripers is just how many different ways there are to catch them. They're doing really well right now out front in the oceans, and then you can just be here in the bay and catch them like we are here. You know, another reason why they have the you know, the water's a little cooler in the bottom. They'll come up here on the shallows where the water has a tendency to be a little warmer. There he is. Got him. Got him? Yeah. All right. Tom, will you land that? I'm going to keep throwing. You got it. Just keep throwing right in there, yeah. This whole stretch looks too good to not hold a couple more for us. So that's our second one. It's, oh, oh, I'm on. There you go, Jimmy's on one, too. All right. Such healthy fish, and you can yeah, tell they're, they're real well fed. They're, they're great. We're gonna switch with you. Yeah. Switch again. Good job. All right. Took a little bit, but now. Uh, hey, some light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, better fish. Oh yeah, definitely. It's so much fun on this light gear. I mean, this is lighter than some of my largemouth bass stuff. Nice, real healthy fish. Good job. Just a beautiful fish. Look at that, real clean. Just perfect stripes on it. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, see, that's a little bit different than the sea lice we usually see on the fish uh, up north. These you, you tend to see on the fish in the backwaters down, uh, down south. I've seen them on the fish in the Chesapeake. You see them in South Jersey here. But, Otherwise, this fish seems really healthy. It's really beautiful. I mean, just an absolute perfect striper. So, 